All right, welcome back to another Touch Designer tutorial. And on this one, we're going to create a pixel sorting effect using just tops and a feedback loop. And I'm going to just show you with a few different images um, what this actually looks like. So um, it's really just like, yeah, I, I think you're all probably familiar with pixel sorting. And um, I'm going to like, preface this by saying I don't really know how pixel sorting actually uh, like works in with code like with GLSL or uh, Python or something like that so I've never really looked into the algorithm there but um what this is is really just a result of a lot of experimentation with like uh, feedback feedback loops that I've been doing in the last couple of weeks and I'm really happy I found out like how this works because I've because I've because I really love pixel sorting and um, yeah this is a very powerful technique I think and so actually as you can see it's like the whole network it's rather simple and you can easily expand it and change the the aesthetic and and everything all right so. As always, I'm going to just delete everything and rebuild it from with you from scratch. And uh, the only thing I'm going to leave in here is like the, the movie file in. So I've set up for different um, image files so we can like switch between them. And to do that, I'm going to insert a switch top here and select all of these and just put them in there. So now if I go in here, I can just easily maneuver between like for them. All right, as you can also see, these are all like in different resolutions. So I want to work with a fit top to um, have them all uh, inside a square. So I'm going to set this uh, fit to native res uh, to fit outside and change its resolution to 1920 by 1920. So now if I go through the different images, you can see they're all like fit in there very nicely. All right, <coughs> so I'm going to start with the feedback top here because uh, that's like the crucial one of the crucial parts and um, I'm going to add an add to the feedback loop. So <coughs> what we're going to do here is like take the uh, input image and feeding in, in feeding that into here and uh, we're going to add something that adds to the add and then we're like pulling pr putting that back there. So we have like this loop going on here, We're, like putting that image there and then back there again. And like in inside this, um, this part here, I'm gonna like add um, a few more tops. And we're also gonna add something here. Before I'm gonna do that though, I'm gonna add <laughs> a transform here and also a null, which I'm gonna as always like just call BG and turn the display on here so we can see this woman, woman watching us. And <coughs> all right, so I'm going to insert a difference here. So difference is just one part. Um, I could I could also insert a comp. That's what I uh, originally did and uh, use the operation difference. So difference is really just one operation um, of like compositing and it's really nice working with that inside of feedback loops I notice. So we don't need to change anything about that I'm just going to insert a displays here. So um, you can already kind of see this cascade going on and we're going to uh, expand that further in a second. So on the displays I'm going to change the source midpoint both to zero, this one to zero as well and this one to like point zero one. All right, <coughs> now I'm gonna get to the um, part that's uh, the, the, like the juicy part, <laughs> um, which is like using a level here. Cause um, if you, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna like put that in there. So you can ar already like kind of see uh, that was working but um now it's not like really working anymore so what we need to do in a second uh is change some stuff about the level so i'm going to insert a keyboard in just uh, for a second here and use this uh value which is one on your keyboard to um 
pulse the feedback, so I can always just reset it, reset it with my uh, keyboard. So on the level, <coughs> I'm going to um, go down with the brightness, and now you can see the effect uh, taking place there. So I'm just going to leave it at like 0.1 for now, and on the contrast, make that a bit higher. Or actually, just leave it that way. Actually, for now. Um, uh, one thing you might notice when I uh, so before I do that, this is actually the the main thing, um, like the main setup. What I noticed though um, is that you uh, have this, mm, like in this part. Uh, in this case, it's a uh, it's it's this woman always looking for these strings, um, but. Well, you basically always have the um, source, source image kind of being s transparent there in the background. So to get rid of that, I'm going to um, insert a subtract here and um, subtract from this image, like subtract this from that image. So now you can see really like the whole thing is being completely distorted. There's no no trace of the original image staying there. So yeah, to do that, you also you have to have like this trans transform there in the background uh, at the end here. Um, so this is really mostly it. Um, what you can do on the displays is change the direction. So <coughs> you might want to have this go up. So I'm just going to change this to like a minus. And then you can see, kind of feels like she's judging me. So um, anyways, she's like now it's going uh, up. And obviously, you can make this uh, like stronger or um, anything. So I can also make this go to the left or to the right. Um, so there's really a lot of. Uh, room to have fun with this and um, what you can also do is while this is going there you can like uh, change the, uh, the the image type or like the image input so you're like kind of adding these together which also looks really nice I think and um, you could obviously also use uh, noise in here which is also a wonderful effect um, I'm looking forward to like playing more with that, and um, yeah. So this level is, as I said, it's kind of like the juicy part. So you can really uh, change the effect strongly here. So um, so yeah, you can also like change the opacity here and I, I don't know like really play around with um, with this so to get uh, different results okay now, now I screwed it up <laughs> and <coughs> anyways again I, I guess you get the point and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm really happy I found this out and I'm happy to share this and I hope you have some fun during this weird corona time and also if you want to have even more fun <laughs> then you can support me on my Patreon um, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll upload the file f for uh, for this there as well and um, yeah thanks a lot for all the people supporting me already and thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon <laughs>